So this is what I'm dealing with. And this is just some of it. We, we got a, rid of a whole bunch of other stuff. That's all over there. <laughs> That's all my art that I did. I got all this stuff. And then you come over here. And this is actually cleaned out a bit. <laughs> But I've got all of this and all of this. It's like, and that's like, that's like a little bit. Ugh, yuck. Hi, yarn of bees. How are you today? I'm a hot mess right now. I'm still in my house coat. My hair's like all, um, and I'm sitting here drinking coffee. <laughs> but I just I haven't talked to you guys in a while, and I've been feeling really guilty. But we, me and my sister, my sister and I, we have been working like crazy this week. <clears throat> Uh, we've had, oh, uh, I just, my body's broken <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Um, I'm recovering right now because it was just, it needed, everything that we did needed to be done, but holy cow, all in one go like that was insane. Um, <clears throat> we started downstairs in the basement because we had to get the the basement dealt with because Sandy from left is right crochet was coming to visit that's a whole story oh my goodness <clears throat> um <clears throat> excuse me so uh I wanted to get a bed down there and get it all set up nice for her and so we got it out the room in the basement and found out a few things so <clears throat> gosh there's so much to talk about with you guys right now and my head's all over the place um <clears throat> i wanted to do a video with george to do an announcement and i still will do that kind of sort of <laughs> So, but anyways, getting back to that. So we ended up um, finding, when we pulled a table back, um, the baseboard was going black. And the wall was not, it was discolored. So we were going, uh-oh. So everything stopped. <clears throat> and... So there'll be more to that story in another video to be continued. So we decided, okay, well, what are we going to do now? Charlene says, let's do the yarn room. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so we came into the yarn room and <clears throat> she thought that it was just going to be a quick do, 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 and everything was going to be good. Until she found out how much yarn I had and uh, how the yarns were different brands. And because we, we were trying to figure out, do we sort it by brand? Do we sort it by color? Do we sort it by weight? Do we like, what are we doing? Um, so we had like two hours of trying to figure out stuff and then she had to go home. 
So we had ripped this whole room apart and started organizing it. And then she had to go home. So I was sitting here going, oh, I'm in a disaster zone. <laughs> so it was worse off than before. So she ended up going back home for a few days. She had appointments to do and everything. And then I had to drive my niece down to Victoria, um, which is two hours away for an appointment. So my sister says, well, why don't I just come back with you and we'll finish up that room. Okay. <laughs> so she came back and on Friday and we started this room or continued this room, should I say. <sighs> wow. What a whirlwind, like whirlwind. This, I mean, this, this. Oh, hang on. This cabinet right here, this whole cabinet was full of, <clears throat> let's get you back here. Okay. I turned the camera off by accident. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> that cabinet was full of bits and pieces of skeins, right? Like skeins that I hadn't used up. <clears throat> So I had to go and had to ball wind all these skeins. And then we started packing them in containers. I went to Walmart and I picked up these, these tote container things. And we started um, putting the, everything in there. I didn't realize how much I had. Because I'm, I'm this, I, you guys are going to yell at me, I know. But I'm the type of person that if I'm using a skein or a cake or something, you know, and I don't finish that skein or cake, it goes by the wayside. I don't touch it again. Right. I, I can't, I'm not, I don't know what it is, but I just can't pick another cake up and, or, or skein up and start working on something else. And I think it might be because of the color lot, uh, because you know how, when you pick up it's, you know, yarn that's from a different lot number. The color's different. I think that might be why. Um, so yeah, coffee break. But I'm not entirely sure. <clears throat> My sister seems to think, and she could be totally right. Back in the day when I was younger, I had anorexia and bulimia. And one of the traits was you eat what's on your plate, but you leave a little bit. I'm not entirely sure of the psychology behind it, <clears throat> but I seem to do that with everything. If I'm drinking a cup of coffee, I don't finish the whole thing. I leave some behind. Um, yeah, it's the weirdest thing. I guess that fell over into the rest of my life. Um, I think it's something about gluttony or something like you feel like you have, if you, if you still have something on your plate, then you don't feel like you've overeaten or you're gluttonous or you're, you know, whatever. So <clears throat> it's a guilt thing. And so I guess with my yarn, it could be psychologically not thinking about it, maybe it rolls into some of that, right? And the lot, the lot numbers or the color, the, you know. <sighs> Needless to say, I have totes upon totes, as you saw, of yarn. And it's not all yarn ends, right? Like I have balls of yarn that, are, that haven't even been touched, but it's stuff I'm never going to use, right? So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to sell it off. And because there was a lady on Marketplace that I did the same thing before the last time I junked out this room. And she bought all my yarn ends. And I thought, okay, so there is a market for it, I guess. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I was glad to get this room finished. 
it's not totally finished like there's just little things that I got to finish up here but getting these totes out of here is a big thing <clears throat> now and then I've just got like my desk is a mess I've got to deal with that uh you know so but there there was a big plastic uh eight drawer um thing in here that I had just a few Karen cakes in I had you know my pom-poms were in there you know and it was like okay we gotta get this out of here because it's not doing any good so that's what we did and then we put the table in here so I have a place to do my ball winding and all that because <clears throat> I've been using my desk that I do my tutorials on for ball winding and then I gotta take my ball winder off and it was just a hassle so yeah so we finally got it dealt with so <laughs> so then we sat down and we were taking a break and she says, we should attack your office, right? We've got a room beside this room that is kind of like an office space, but it was also a catch-all for like when we bought bags of toilet paper or paper towels or um, all of our paddling stuff was in there. Uh, it, and it was George's office before him and I got together. His ex-wife had all his paperwork in there. So he had paperwork in there from like 1998 kind of thing, right? For his business. So we had to go through all of that. My sister, I, I'm telling you guys, my sister's gone through a lot in the last few years with her Wegner's disease. As you, those of you that have been with me for a long time know. Um, she's dealt with her balance, her eyesight, her hearing. It's just been a schmazzle of a mess. And um, she has come such a, a long way. But I'll tell you, that girl's got energy for days. Um, she, I mean, she's at home all the time, right? Like she doesn't do anything because she's so afraid if she goes out, you know, she's going to lose her balance or she's, you know, she can't hear very well. She's got her hearing aids now. And so she doesn't like talking to people very much because she can't hear them. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of trauma, psychological trauma that goes along with what she's got. So she really wanted to get out of the house, right? Because like most of us through COVID, we kind of buried ourselves in our house and didn't leave for quite a while, right? And some of us still haven't. And she was one of them, um, but hers was not just because of COVID. It was beca because she's got an autoimmune disease. Um, going out with COVID, it was like, no, uh-uh. Um, but now everything's starting to open up and people don't wear masks anymore. And our mandates were just dropped. So now we can go to restaurants. We can do what, and I'm like, oh, thank God. But for her, she's like, Oh, like she's scared, right? So for her to get out of the house was a big thing. So she came over here and she was like, I just want to do stuff. I want to do stuff. I want to, like, we got to do this and this and this. And, I, and I'm like, like, she was like, she had 20 cups of coffee and she just went through here like a, a tornado. And I was like, oh my, you know, and I'm trying to keep up to her and my back was killing me. I was exhausted. And it was like, okay, I need to have a break. And she's like, okay, well you go sit down. I'm going to keep going. And I'm like, who are you? <laughs> so, um, so I felt bad because I didn't want her to do it by herself. So I kept going. Tell me. Um, so I had painkillers going, I had my heating pad going, I had, you know, like everything I possibly could use to keep me going, I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then she stayed for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I took her home yesterday. And then yesterday it caught up to her. And then she was like, oh, I think I'm having a back spasm. And I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> it's like, OK, good. We could sit down and relax. <laughs> like, so we sat on the couch 
or she sat, she laid on the couch. I was in my chair, my recliner all day yesterday. And, um, <laughs> we just sat, we talked, I crocheted, she was reading, you know, and it was really nice. So we, I, I'm telling you guys, we did a lot, a lot. I had no idea how much stuff was here, how much I needed to get rid of. Um, we went to the dump twice. We went to the recycling depot once. George and I still have to go to the recycling depot. Uh, I have bags upon bags of <clears throat> UFOs that I will never touch um, that have to go to the recycle depot. Um, I've got like, I, I just couldn't even believe it. I went to Value Village and I dropped off two van loads of crafting stuff, like all my craft stuff, not my yarn stuff, but my craft stuff. And I thought, you know what? Some teacher is going to go in there and she's going to just buy up everything, right? Because I, I mean, glue guns for days like just it, like you name it it was there it it was insane that whole room downstairs was my craft dungeon uh so yeah i'm <clears throat> so we're not finished that downstairs cuz we have to get the wall dealt with so yeah <clears throat> but it's mostly all done it's manageable now what's left so yeah so thank you, sis. I love you. I love you. I love you. You broke me, broke me, but <laughs> we got it done. Um, I, I'm so happy it's, it's done. I can come in here now and I can enjoy my space before it was just a daunting thing to come in here and look at all. I had boxes of yarn. I had like a pile of projects that I had finished. Like it was just, it was overwhelming in here. Um, you guys may look at all my yarn and go, it's still overwhelming, Sandy. But you know what? This is tamed down a lot. My sister can attest to that. So, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. Um, so, yeah. It's been it's been a, a, a week of, a, a week and a half of just oh, craziness. It's like I found stuff too that I was just like, I didn't even know I had that. You know, like these. Hang on. Oh. Oh. I have a bag of these. And these are brim, um, the plastic brim things for baseball caps and stuff. Right? I had, I mean, there's two different sizes that I've got. And my plan was to start making like newsboy hats and stuff like that and use these and crochet over them. I never did it. Right? So I've got all these. i got to figure out what to do with. Oh. Um, yeah. It's like stuff like that. It was like, oh, I didn't, I don't remember having that. So, so that was kind of fun. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So once I get this stuff dealt with, then I can start filming in here again. Unless I just kind of film here like this. My house go. No. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for holding on. Um, oh, and I found a whole bunch of crochet hooks I forgot I had in all my project, all my UFOs and everything. I found all my furls odyssey hooks so it was like oh, okay <laughs> it's like, that's where all my hooks went <laughs> so it's crazy anyways guys i'm gonna go i love you all and thanks for joining me uh i will have a few more videos coming out um now that i'm calm sort of <clears throat> and uh i can start possibly doing tutorials again, all that. Okay. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.
拜拜。